Hey there, gem car lovers. Uh, we're gonna go over this uh, Chargery 24 uh, BMS um, battery monitor. Uh, what's special about this is um, this display has been remotely located to my dash where I can uh, utilize all the information. Uh, normally this 24S battery monitor is mounted back at the battery. So if the user wants to see any information, they actually have to uh, have it uh, near the battery and that's not possible. So what uh, David Bisson has done at Omni Electronics, he ingeniously has come up with a way of remoting the display or removing the display from the original battery monitor and um, uh, putting it in a location where the user can see it. And what he did to achieve that was came up with a, a unique uh, PC board that turns the signal that the display runs off of to run on three Cat5 cables. Um, the battery monitor is, um, I won't bore you with it, but it's mounted back behind the seat there in a water kind of um, a, a location where water is not going to affect it. And then the uh, Cat5 runs along the bottom of the, the car and up into the dash where um, you can see it. The original battery monitor is all uh, blue, but um, we got these boxes and modified them to remove this display from the original battery monitor and then adapt it to this this one here. So um, yeah, you can see right now the, um, the kilowatts uh, from the charger is actually charging it. And so you can see right here, we have 10.5 amps going into the system and it's actually counting up. And as uh, the system discharges, uh, you can see how many, um, uh, how much energy is uh, taken out of the battery and how much is put in. This is another one of the displays showing uh, cell 16 and cell 20. It changes um, what are the, the low cells are, are displayed in red. Um, this actually uh, represents cells one through 20. I'm only using 20 of the 24 possible. So that's what uh, that's what's going on right now. Um, I'll go to the next display. Um, this shows the actual individual cell voltage. Cell one is at 3991, now it's just changed. And this is the low cell right here, 4.22. Um, so um, those two cells, cell one and cell 20 are the ones that are sort of balancing. Let's go to the next one here. Um, so uh, this has a bunch of different options. This is another display showing that, you know, we have uh, uh, almost a full charge right here. Uh, this uh, other information on the right is the total pack voltage is 80.14 and it's at 93% of charged. Uh, the high cell is 4.02 and the low cell. So, um, and there's also a um, temp sensor in here. So this uh, battery monitor has quite a lot of information um, to sort of give you an idea of what you need to do when you're driving, either turn back or or continue on. So I'll just toggle through the different um, settings. It also has a ton of other settings that I really haven't played with yet. Like uh, it, you can uh, program the maximum high and lows for the charger. Those aren't hooked up right now, but those are possibilities. It also has an alarm and several other lights that will alert the user to parameters that you choose to set. So, uh, the only other thing I can tell you is as you go into regen, this will go up and, you know, it'll say, uh, it'll say negative 10.5 amps as you're getting on the gas. And then when you let off the gas and go into regen, this number will turn to, uh, just like that, which is, there's not a negative in front of it. it so it's showing you that that's what's going in. So you can actually see your amperage as you drive going in and out. And it's quite a useful tool for trying to save, um, Electricity makes that uh, that right foot a little bit softer as far as how much energy you decide to stab in or out Okay, that's it for now. Hope uh, you got any information and uh, For more information on it, you can contact Dave Bisson at Omni Electronics. I'll leave a link in the video. Thanks for watching